hey, hey, hey. Guys, three goals scored. Another clean sheet for Edouard Mendy. Three point in the pocket. Happy days. We move. What are you gonna criticize about today, huh? The goals were not uh, beautiful enough. Or Frank Lampard can't coach his defense. He can't coach his midfield. Or he can't coach his attack. Respect, man. Respect. 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 Respect, man. Respect. Respect. Respect, man. Guys, Oogs from the US, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another episode of Sofa Vlog from the US. And today I'm gonna fly to Turf Moor where we are going to meet Burley, Chelsea Football Club against Burley. This is the show that I always record before the game, during the game and after the game to to give you the real feeling in that particular moment because after the game you can have mixed emotions and it's gonna be very difficult to report exactly what happened during the game anyways guys the lineup just came out and it's Mendy in goal Rhys James Thiago Silva the captain today Zuma Chilwell, Mount, Kante, Harvard, Ziyech, Abraham, and Pulisic. Subs. We have Willy, Rudiger, Aspiliqueta, Jorginho, Kalium Hasanadoy, Timo Werner, and Olivier Giroud. Wow, Frank Lampard is going to be in trouble if he doesn't win the game as usual because people are going to question why and why not and especially it's going to be why Timo Werner is on the bench but let me remind you that this is the reason why Frank Lampard is where he is and you and me are where we are because he knows what he's doing okay he studied this and and um, this is uh, the squad management time it's not gonna please everybody but the most important is to win the game and move to the next one everybody is going to have playing time at some point because games are coming thick and fast we need to refresh certain players who are physically and mentally tired the last time was Thiago Silva today it's um, it's gonna be Timo Werner. Tomorrow, it could be somebody else. So I'm all fine with this one, but just win. Just win the game because if you don't win, people are going to question. It is what it is. I'm very confident the lineup is very strong. Don't tell me that Tammy Abraham is an average player because he's the reason why we are in the Champions League this season and Last season, pretty much, uh, he did the job with Mason Mount. So I don't want to hear all the critics because it's about the team. It's not about individuals. And, oh my gosh, just before the kickoff, Christian Pulisic got injured in the warm-up. Wow. I don't know how I feel right now because I wanted to see Christian Pulisic today. Hopefully, it's not that bad and they took him off as a precaution. Let's wait and see what Frank Lampard is going to say at the end of the game. And Timo Werner replaced him instead of Callum Huston Adoy because I think um, Timo could do better than Callum. The last game, to be honest with you, Callum didn't do that good and everybody knows about it. So let's see how. Timo Werner is going to perform as a winger and that is going to be another big discussion if we don't win the game because people are going to ask questions why Callum Hasunadoi didn't play because he's a natural winger but a couple seasons ago Timo Werner used to be a winger do your homework the first half fourth minute we almost conceded 
And I tell you straight away, we didn't concede because of Edouard Mendy. Yeah, say whatever you want, but if you played football, you will understand what I'm trying to say here. Edouard Mendy came off the line and made himself big. And that's why they missed that chance, that clear one-on-one -on -one chance. If Kepa was in goal, he was going to overthink. He was going to hesitate between coming off the line or staying on the line. And that was going to give the striker an extra second and he was going to, to find the top corner. Simple as that. In the first 20 minutes, nothing special happened. We had some very good crosses, but it didn't produce anything. Chile almost had a penalty and Tammy Abraham almost scored a header. We had the possession as usual but no end product 25 minutes the wizard hakim ziyech took charge of the game remember i told you in my preview video that hakim ziyech was going to unlock that defense that is exactly what happened timo verna hakim ziyech tammy abram combined for a sweet clean shot from the wizard the assist was from Tammy Abraham. That two assists in two games put some respect on Tammy's name. So the first half, I can say it was anybody's game. Yes, we had possession, but the final third, as usual, betrayed us. And they had chances too. They had uh, free kicks, they had corner kicks, but when you have the tank, Okay, the wall in that goal, what do you expect? So 1-0 in the first half, I can't complain because it could have been better or worse. Depending on how you see things, you can rely on statistics or you can rely on eye test. It's up to you. The second half from the beginning, Burnley at some point had like 60%, Chelsea only 30 Yeah, I was even surprised because they took the game to us, but it didn't pay off because they didn't score. They had chances. And let's talk about uh, Kai Harvard. He always loses balls in very dangerous areas and it cost us in the past with Kepa Arisa Balaga in goal. And this time, the defense and the whole team as a defensive organization is uh, bailing uh, Kai Harvard out. You know what I mean? So this is the difference between Kepa and Mendy because Mendy is going to bail you out in such situations and Kepa is just uh, going to concede the goal. 63 minute bullet header from Kurt Zuma. Hey, hey, nobody is saving that header. You touch that ball, you are dead. Okay? Don't even try to save that because you are going to be dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Kurt Zuma really deserves that goal. And I think he's learning how to direct the ball because in the past, like last season, it was almost, almost, almost never scored last season. But this season, guess what? Zuma is back and let's talk about Timo Werner's goal. The pass from the magician himself. What a goal. What a combination. My goodness, everything was perfect. And let's talk a little bit about Rhys James. The fact that James is not getting many assists this season is criminal. We need to investigate on this one because his crosses are just sick. The boy is sick. He's just missing something in the final third. Man, Rhys James, when everything starts clicking with the rest of the team, this boy is going to be one of the best in the Premier League and even around the world. Ben Shewell, Chile was great defensively and offensively as usual. Nothing really I can say about Chile. We were just missing the last action. 
Engolo Kante, my goodness, if you don't see what Engolo Kante is doing to this team, and then you need to see your doctor very quickly because something is wrong with you. Yes, he missed some, you know, tackles. He did some mistakes here and there, just like anybody else. No player in the world is perfect. But I think certain people are more focused on what Engolo Kante can't do than what he's doing. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to them. But Engolo was Engolo. You know what I mean? Let's talk about subs in general. Kalium Hassan Adoy had 20 minutes. He replaced Hakim Ziyech. Olivier Giroud had about 15 minutes, he replaced Tammy Abraham. And uh, Jorginho had about uh, five to seven minutes, he replaced Kai Harvard. Very smart from Frank Lampard as usual. Because the only way you can keep your team, your squad, happy and healthy is to make some subs, is to rotate your team. I'm not going to repeat myself that much because if you know, you know. Thiago Silva, the captain, almost scored another bullet header in the 87th minute, but it didn't happen. I really wanted to see that goal, man. But you know what? We're going to postpone it next time. <laughs> and I was also afraid because he got a cramp the last minute. But that is just confirm what I've been telling people that we need to manage the team. And uh, the maintenance is very important for Thiago Silva at the moment. So, another clean sheet for Mendy today. Three goals scored, three points in the pocket. Happy days. I don't know what haters are going to complain about today. You know, Frank Lampard out because he can't uh, control his defense. You know, <laughs>